Dear students, welcome back to Full Scholarships Live Video Series. We'll be discussing about the fully funded King Oktla University Scholarships in Saudi Arabia for session 2026-2027 for Masters and PhD. So you can complete postgraduate studies in King Oktla University of Science and Technology in Saudi Arabia. That too absolutely free with a stipend of thirty thousand dollars per annum. Before we discuss, let me remind you to subscribe our YouTube channel Full Scholarships and do follow us on Instagram page as well. The link for this King Abdul University scholarship is given in the video description below. You can check out any of the videos. Links are in the respective description of each of the videos. Also in the about section of the YouTube, you can see links are also given there. Or you can directly ask us through the message on Instagram. Our team is there to assist you, and you can seek the link there. And in our Instagram about section and YouTube about section, you can see the links are given there. Or you can directly visit our website fullscholarships.net or cashmilook.com. Once you visit our website fullscholarships.net, you can check out this scholarship information. Here are some brief information. Uh, the host country is Saudi Arabia. You can complete your postgraduate studies there, including PhD, and all the countries are eligible there to apply. You will be getting full scholarship accommodation, thirty thousand dollars in annual stipends, and relocation support as well. Deadline for this particular opportunity is seventeenth of January, twenty twenty-six. So you have enough time to. prepare for this particular application so right now those getting accepted will be receiving the link to submit the scholarship form as of now you just have to fill the admission form that through the online portal <coughs> so to be considered for this particular scholarship for masters you should have the bachelor's program you should have completed your bachelor's and for pg diploma you should have a bachelor's degree and you you can have also a diploma and uh, for post graduate phd studies you should have bachelor's and masters benefits from this scholarship you can get a living allowances of 20 to 30000 dollars annually depends on qualification and on campus housing include medical and dental coverage relocation support from your home country to the uh, saudi arabia and then full tuition free support documents that you need to have in order to submit this application is official university transcripts of your bachelor's and uh, cv then statement of purpose three red liquor, uh, recommendation letters and ielts or toefl scores and gre scores so if you want us to uh, make you a cv write you an sop or give you the letter of recommendations format we can do it for you can just place an order from our website here on the top you can see shop so you can click on this and place order for these documents these formats there how to apply for this uh, scholar have the admission so we'll show the process for admission later on once you get through the round one you'll be receiving the link for the scholarship so inside the application for admission there are certain questions regarding the scholarship as well we'll fill that scroll down at the end you can see apply here given the button so click on this apply here button once you click on that you can see the king of the university of science and technology official website is here applying to kaust application deadlines applications for 2026 are open right now you can see master's degree and phd degree requirements for this any support you need all the details about this admission office is given here you can see contact details are also given there for applying to the university you can see on the top there is applying to kaust or also link is given here so you can click on any of them so click on applying to kaust button here now once you click on that you can see discover your potential at kaust this is the admissions page and there are around 64% of international students there in the campus and you can see master's degree phd degree all the programs are there so you can click on apply today here and now you can see find a program and submit the deadline submit your application before the deadline so you can simply click on a uh, program in science engineering and technology you can click on that and you can see different programs are there for example i'll go with the environmental science and engineering here you can see for spring 2026 fall 2026 all the three sessions are there and this is ms ms or phd and ms and phd separately so you can do simple ms and integrate ms and phd or simple phd as well i'll go with the simple uh, application process inside i'll choose masters now click on apply now here in the green color button for the first time users you have to click on create an account here so click on this enter your email enter your first email uh, sorry first name and the last name and click on date of birth 
once you do that you will also receive the uh, email regarding verification and a pin will be sent to your email so for the first time users you have to you can see like this i have my username here and you have to also activate the account through the pin i already have done this part so that we can save the time and simply we'll do the application part here click on apply now i'll click on login you will click on create an account i have my username and password that i just created here now i'll simply use the same details to enter the dashboard here you can see we have no applications as of now for the session 2026 we'll click on start new application and click on create application here now you can see in progress click on open application and now you have all these sections to fill one by one so first you should have instructions and all the red star marks you have to mandatorily write or submit the documents so you can see click on continue and uh, it's suggested that you just have a simple folder on your desktop complete all the documents required in that in a pdf manner and then you have to just drag and drop there now my first name and last name is already filled there as we did through the sign up process I'll just submit mailing and permit address any of them you can just choose choose the home country that you have as a residence and a sample address that you have but you should mention all the details as per the passport I'll just choose mine here and then select the state and postal code after that if you have validity of this address to some particular date or you are changing or shifting from one location to other you can just mention the dates mine is just by default there i will select the same date after you can see red stocks here choose the gender and select the birth date as per the passport that we already have in the sign up process i'll simply just choose that you can see i've selected that now martial stats i have a stats here you have to choose how many dependents you have on you and your native language try to mention english here if you have already completed previous language previous education in english your primary citizenship also try to mention the single season if you have dual citizenship including saudi arabia you are not eligible for this particular scholarship either you can just apply for an admission here are you a saudi resident so no we are not then enter your passport number here after that passport issue date so do not make any mistakes here please be uh, careful about this section and try to find the dates that you have been issued the passport on and mention the dates here after that i'll just choose the passport first page here a scanned copy of passport here simply i'll just choose one of the passport copies here i'll click on open now click on continue this is the first part where we have submitted the primary information now here is the important part do you need to apply for the scholarship this is the important i am planning to apply uh, fully fund myself or seeking fully funding from kus to yes this is the one now click on continue so i am seeking scholarship now phd applicants are accepted for both takes so which i'll go with the fall choose a degree i'll go with a simple masters now i'll go with the environmental science here you can choose your own so have you discussed this interest with the faculty but this is highly recommended i already have discussed with the faculty member we'll choose from the list so i have my list here from the jian wing and i have two faculty members now you can simply scroll down have you previously applied to this i have not applied are you in applying to any agreement between institutions so no i'll click on continue if your home institution and this institution is having an affiliation you can add that now my previous education history i'll just mention the home institution here and select the country where i have completed my bachelor's here and after that and then select the region and then postcode and select the start date of your bachelor's degree one by one fill all the details here so it's a four year duration program i'll start with the 2020 and ending at december 2024 so that there is no such gap in your education as well 
now already graduated select the dates you have graduated and level of study undergraduate majors so select that bachelor's of arts bachelor's of technology select the major and then overall cgpa you have uh, on your so out of four you can mention or out of ten and uh, overall performance that you can maximum get and have you ever been dismissed or suspend select yes and no accordingly now i'll submit the transcripts from the degree that in case you don't have transcripts you can just submit your mark sheets here i'll just submit a sample pdf here click on save this is the education history likewise you can see we'll click on continue and now sop i'll just choose a file and then you have to upload a resume as well so you can see i'll choose the here cv click on continue so you can see do you have the gre test if you already have taken you can select yes else i'll select no i have not i am planning to take one intended date select a date when are you planning to complete this gre test and have you complete test scores no and do you have ibt exams yes i know accordingly i'll just submit no as of now as i am planning to take these skills click on continue now do you have research publication posters as of now i'll select no and continue if you have any achievements you can just submit them now we have the important part that's the referee select the referee details position title application to the applicant number phone number email address and comments and street address of that professor and all the details click send to recommender now click on continue emergency details you can add contact details here select the revelation type email and all the details regarding that and select the country and other details click on click on save so let's see what's missing there click on save click on skip validation now click on continue other information if you want to go for other information here you can just submit else i can click on continue and now is the last part signature enter your full name click on continue now this is the major important part where you have to check you can see passport expiry date passport uh, references we have to submit three references i have just submitted one and here we have to something missing that is the uh, expiry date of passport click on continue and now i'll go with the section that is missing is the three references i'll add other three other two so one by one enter all the three references this is the important part where you have to do some homework you have to inform all the reference first and now any message you want to have click on send to recommender okay we have
so i have completed this click on send to recommender now we can see two references are added last one i have to add in your case you have to completely mention that and now you can see click on send recommender so all the three are done click on review now you can see there is nothing you can save for later either or you can click on submit application click on acknowledgement click on ok so your application will be there so you can see we have submitted the application it will be under review now decision will be available by the uh, one month maybe almost 30 days and then decided if decided accepted you'll be getting green buttons all to them and there'll be an offer letter download and there'll be a panel where you can get username and password you have to log in for the details so that you can enter your bank details and other documents you can see our applicant id meanwhile i have also received an email confirmation here first you can see application created second application received and all the details have been successfully submitted to their portal so you can see that we have uh, submitted as we shown you in the steps the information for scholarships was also discussed and asked in the same form besides this they'll be asking you at the level two for the uh, scholarship application form separately you have to submit another scholarship application form for the funding separately right now we have just completed the admission as well as scholarship form but later on you have to complete these uh, sections as well so just keep checking the stats here if you have any doubts you can ask us directly on the instagram and write down the comment below the video directly visit our website fullscholarships.net with this i am signing off for today please subscribe and share this video like this video as well and keep checking our website fullscholarships.net for all the updates i am signing off have a nice day ahead